Hi, Brian Cook here, and maybe you're asking yourself, why should I take a chance by starting network marketing? Well, let's think about this. That's what we're going to cover in this video, why network marketing could be for you. It's not for everybody. It's only for the committed. There's a lot of people that dabble, try, and make our industry look bad. I don't want that to be you. So think about this. If you want to be your own business owner, you want to be recognized by the government, and get tax breaks and tax benefits, there's two different ways you can do that. <clears throat> you can go traditional brick and mortar, which means you could open up a restaurant, you could buy a franchise like a Subway or McDonald's or something like that, um, and get going that way. Right? Traditional. We all know it. Brick and mortar. You build a building. You, you do marketing to bring people in. So I don't know the exact price, but I know it's several hundred thousand dollars to buy into a ma major franchise. They tell you where you're going to set your business up. And then you got to hire employees, and then you've got to stock food, and you got to do a lot of work, and you basically get started. It's safe to say you're going to be down three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars. Yes, you're going to be down before you make one penny, and then you're going to probably not probably, but you're going to have to invest a large sum of cash to advertise, radio ads, newsprint ads, TV ads. So you're looking at a lot of money spent before one penny comes in. And you've got to learn. And what they say about the first five years in a business is the business actually works you. And then you think about the other statistic that's scary. Eight out of nine, eight, 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 eight or nine out of ten businesses fail in their first five years. So you, low end, you have an 80 percent chance in your first five years you'll fail and then you have to file bankruptcy. Then your credit's ruined and you're broke. What are you going to do? Go get a job? So let's flip the coin. Network marketing, same thing. You start your own business. You get started for around 500 bucks. 500, not 500,000, 500 bucks. You earn while you learn. You don't have employees. You don't have overhead. You have a company that's doing marketing. You can do your own marketing for low, low costs. And you can make a profit. So there's people, a lot of people, their first week they spend 500, they make 1,000. So they're up 500. The next week they do the same thing. They earn 1,000. So let's just say you go into work and you have very part-time because you're working your job, but you want to lead up to getting out of that job, and you do it 15, 20 hours a week, or less, 12, 15 hours is safe, and over a period of time you're replacing your income and then you're full-time and your income continues to grow and grow and grow. If that sounds good to you, and first of all, you have money to invest, $1,000, you are coachable and teachable, you are not a procrastinator, and your word has value, that's big, your word has value, and you, you work in absolute integrity, then network marketing could be for you. But if those things are not in place, or it's not you, or if you're thinking, or you're the overthinker that you got to think about, thinking about, thinking about, it's probably not for you. We're looking for action takers, that people that jump in, do what they're told, go hard, have fun, and make some extra money. So hopefully you now know if network marketing is for you. So do me a favor, if this video impacted you or you thought there's a good tip in there, please share it, hit share, hit like on YouTube, and have a great rest of the day.